Um, we can also compute the second derivative. So if we have this and we want to compute another derivative, what do we do? Well, we pretend that this depends on our parameter. So we take this derivative first and get this is first the derivative of this with respect to x times the derivative with respect the derivative of x with respect to t and then that gives the formula the second derivative can be written this way uh, we could go even further and compute this using the quotient rule so I have bottom times the derivative of the top minus top times the derivative of the bottom all over the bottom squared So this is squared, but I have another one down there. So we get this kind of nasty formula. But this is sort of the most important one. Alright, here's another example. We're asked to find uh, the slope of the curve and the second derivative of the curve. And we're asked when is the curve concave up. So x and y are given here and using the formula we already know dy dx is derivative of this divided by the derivative of this and using our new formula here so to compute the second derivative I use this new formula so I'll have the derivative of this on top, and I have to use the quotient rule. So I have 3t squared minus 12 times 2 minus 2t times 6t all over that squared. And I have another one, so I actually cube it. Let's see if we can simplify. We get 6t squared minus 12t squared. So we get negative 6t squared. Minus 24. So, that's the first part. Now to figure out when the curve is concave up, we have to see when the second derivative is positive. So notice the numerator is always negative, because I have this negative thing minus another negative thing. So, if this is always negative, I need to see when this is negative. So, so when is this true? Well, it has, happens when t squared is 
3 t squared is less than 12, or t squared is less than 4. And that's just another way of saying that that t is between negative 2 and 2. So notice uh, if t squared is less than 4, then Well, you know t has to be smaller than 2, but t can't be more negative than negative 2, or else you get something bigger than 4. So, curve is concave up there. Alright, in this example we want to find where the given curve has horizontal or vertical tangents. And the way to find the horizontal or vertical tangents is we have a horizontal tangent when dy dt is 0 and dx dt is not 0 and we have a vertical tangent when the reverse is true um, when both derivatives are 0 Uh, there's not a whole lot you can say. You sort of have to have more information to figure out informations about the tangents. Uh, they may not even exist. There may be a singularity. So to test for this, uh, let's first take dy dt. We get 6t squared plus and see when it's zero. This is zero when t equals zero or t equals negative one. And let's look at dx dt. We have 6t squared plus 6t minus 12. Let's see when this is 0. We can divide out the 6's. factor this. Let's see, you don't have a plus here and a minus there. So this is zero when t equals one or t equals negative two. On the right it should say t equals one or t equals minus two.